Good morning. Hey, this is Pastor Joanna Gregg and Pastor Ralph Hill coming to you from the sanctuary of Mount Horrors and Church. Welcome to our weekly devotions. It's Advent. And this past Sunday was the first Sunday of Advent. We're in that first week, and this week's theme is hope. As we lit this candle behind us already, let us hear the gospel we heard um, this past Sunday with new ears in the light of hope. From Luke chapter 21, Jesus said, There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on the earth distress among nations, confused by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will faint from fear and foreboding of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, stand up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. Then he told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that summer is already near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Be on guard, so that your hearts are not weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and the worries of this life. And that day does not catch you unexpectedly like a trap. For it will come upon all who live on the face of the whole earth. Be alert at all times, praying that you may have the strength to escape all these things that will take place, and to stand before the Son of Man. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. All right, so the questions that we, we typically raise when we do a dwelling in the Word are basically... What jumps out at you when you hear this passage? And then what questions might it cause you to, uh, to have as you read about this, the story and what's going on? And then finally, is there a nudge that you might be feeling that God has uh, with you in your own spiritual journey, your own faith life? How, how is God nudging you to do some reflection or action based on what you just heard today? So what did you hear? What jumped out to you? Yeah, well, I, I, this is a great passage, uh, and I've, I'm just excited that we're in Advent season. I yeah. love this time of year, and it's a hopeful time of year. Uh, but the, the passage that jumped out at me was verse 34, where it says, Be on guard so that your hearts are not weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and the worries of life. Um, and that day does not catch you unexpectedly. And so I guess one reason why it jumped, that jumped out at me is because I had to look up dissipation just to make sure I knew what that meant. But it basically means getting so distracted by things going on in your life that you are not able to kind of enjoy life. So do we often get caught up with busyness or things to do lists or work mm -hmm. um, so that we miss out on certain aspects of our relationships or maybe our jobs uh, or just enjoying the peace? that we talk about God gives to us because we're so worried and nervous about that. Um, and so it makes me think about uh, what are some things that get in the way for me of being, reminding myself that I'm part of God's creation. Right. How about you? What jumped out at you? Right. What jumped out to me was verse 27. Well, uh, then they, oh wait, am I right? Yeah. Verse 27. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud. That picture is just too great to not uh, stop, let it stop you in your in your thoughts, and I imagine that people might get distracted or or yeah. uh, just concentrate on that too much. That's what that's where my brain went. Um, and then the following verse, because because your redemption is drawing near, those those two ideas are what first caught my attention. Okay, good. Yeah, that makes it one year at confirmation camp we did a skit on the wise men or something and mm -hmm. the joke was in the skit that the wise men missed the star because they were at a stargazing convention yeah. you know it's like the actual thing was happening but yeah. because they're so yeah. busy worried about how to find it that they missed it and they weren't really looking for right it. right so we can sometimes do that as well so how about questions what are some questions maybe that this stirs up for you and the one that jumped out at me was um 
What is God's intention for us? You know, we hear about the story about God makes us in, in our, in, we're made in God's image. Right. So if, if we have that image of God in us, what is our intention? What are we called to be like? And are we living into that? Because um, it sounds like Jesus is calling us back into that understanding, living into mm -hmm. our identity as God's creation. Uh, and one of the answers that I first um, read or thought about when I read that, had that question was, you know, intentionally we were all made to be gardeners in the Garden of Eden. And God asked us to care for creation and for each other. And so that's something that makes me think about how do I, how am I kind of like a, I don't know, a caretaker right. in my life and in, in our church and relationships that I have with my family or friends? Mm -hmm. How do I care for others in those situations like a gardener cares for the garden? Right. And that includes taking care of ourselves, not getting weighed down right. by the things that we mentioned at the end of the passage. Um, and the question, or the thing that jumped out to me because of the verse, thinking about the verse about the Son of Man coming on the cloud, um, was there's going to be signs, so are we waiting for those signs, or are we living in the present, how God made us to be yeah. as shepherds and gardeners? Um, so that's the question I had, and we're not, the answer, of course, is we're not only living for the future coming and the future redemption, we are living in it. And uh, our call is to stay in the present moment. Yeah. As God made us. Right. All right. That's I, great. Think, I think we got it. We answered all the questions. Well, we, then there's the nudge. Do you yeah. want to go with the yeah. nudge, or what do you think we're, we're done? Oh, well, I think that is the nudge to live in the present moment. Okay, yeah, that's a great. So, how do we live in, mm -hmm. in the present moment? And by that, Kind of basically how do we enjoy this life but mm -hmm. also maybe live in a way that helps nurture and kind of uh garden garden this life mm -hmm. that sounds good very good well thank you well how about a prayer can you go yeah. close us out with a yes. prayer pastor joanna let us pray creator of heaven and earth in the beginning you created light and darkness day and night there was evening there was morning the first day what perfect planning for your creation. Often we feel like we're too busy or we don't have enough time. Our minds and days are full. We forget to keep alert to the things of your kingdom coming. As we begin this Advent journey, give us wisdom in prioritizing time for prayer and praise, time for your word and your ways. We pray this in the name of your Son, Jesus, whom you sent into the world at exactly the right time. Amen. Amen. All right, and we enjoy looking, uh, and we look forward to coming to you each week during Advent for these special Advent dwellings in the Word. Until the next time, y'all take care. See you next week. We'll see you next time.